Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I just want to take you around so that you can see the property as it is now. I think you might have seen in some snippets that it doesn't look exactly the same way that it was looking originally when I um, uh, had it in the intro video. A lot has happened since we added uh, animals, okay? So I had planted a beautiful garden, I had a veg vegetable garden, a flowers uh, garden and everything. But my fairy friends have had their way with my garden, okay? So I just want to show you and um, I've got some plans in my head. So I think it will be interesting for us to do this together, okay? Okay, so right now it's sort of like a nightmare just after you come off uh, the house with this is the circular garden I think you saw it originally it was filled guys it was filled with a whole lot of flowers uh, and a lot of plants but now it's been completely stripped okay this is what it's looking like my cows are eating all my plants originally when they came in I didn't think that they would eat uh, these plants I was only worried about my spinach and things so let me just go down now we'll work our way up I'll show you where I had my vegetables where I had my vegetables is where I had originally you know I was worried about them uh, eating everything but they ended up making an, uh, a mess with everything everything in my garden uh, and uh, I did try and have a plan to to put a, a, a vegetable garden somewhere else but even that they destroyed it okay so i'm just going to show you now this is where this is where i had all my sweet potatoes this is where i had my spinach so originally when they came in um, my husband fenced this whole area right right around but the first thing that the the cows did when they came in is that they um destroyed that fencing okay don't you think it's a beautiful day today in Durban it's beautiful it's raining uh, it's drizzling it's just just beautiful okay so I've got young kids and you can see all these plastics and everything I try and get them to clean but they play house all over around trees and they decorate my trees so that's why you've got this thing hanging around here Okay, so guys, what I'm planning to do now is to move. Obviously, the size will not be the same anymore. And I think I just, I do have to accommodate the cows. But as you can see, they've eaten everything. Uh, this is a mango tree. I think originally, some of the trees they didn't eat, but they figured out that, you know, they're edible and they just keep on. The only thing that's remaining is just these um, popo purple plants okay one is ready now i need to pick that but this was um this here was a big it was huge it was taller than me it was a big uh, curry leaf which they've uh, completely finished uh, these are some mangoes that they also have destroyed this was that big beautiful uh, basil bush and look at it now everything is completely destroyed there were sweet potato plants all over here all over here there were sweet potato plants and they've destroyed that this is um a lemon tree that survived so i'm happy about that but i'm just worried it's only a matter of time before they figure out that they can eat that too so that's the current situation now all over here i had placed um grass uh, as a mulch a whole lot of work that I had put in to put in grass mulching so that I could uh, get it to be fertile so that I could uh, plant on it but they've completely destroyed it okay so that's unfortunate but this that's the way things are at the moment just want you to show you this beautiful 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 uh, holy thistle this is a holy thistle isn't it beautiful it's very beautiful So everything is quite bare, if you can see uh, right now, everything is quite bare. And my 
the thinking that we have is just to plant a whole lot of, um, you know, those grasses that uh, cows eat. So we're thinking to do that just to leave this for the cows so that they can get distracted here and not worry uh, my garden. The cows do go out during the day. They do go out during the day um, to graze. But when they come back, whatever is here, they, they start eating it, okay? So I'm just gonna go up and show you what's happening higher up. This is where uh, everything started coming apart. So when we brought in the cows, we had to obviously uh, construct a crawl for them. Okay, right now they've been sleeping outside. They've been sleeping outside because of the rain. When it rains, it's not uh, healthy for air for the cows to stay in the crawl because it gets muddy and it can give them infections. So right now they're sleeping outside. So these are all my uh, <coughs> my barrier bushes. What do you call these? But guys, the plan was that they were going to be uh, trimmed and they were going to come out a little bit bushy but not uh, hedged. Do you know those hedges that uh, are trimmed to be like a, a very perfect shape? I wasn't going to have that but I wanted them to be as bushy as possible. But this is all I have now. This is how it's looking now. So all over here the animals, uh, the, pla the, the cows come out here and they eat. This is their salt lick. So that's, that's where they are today. I'll show you where they are today. That's where they are today. They upset now because they want to go out already, but We've got somebody who helps us take them out to their grazing area and uh, he's going to be in here in a few minutes so but they they see other cows going out and they get anxious and they also want to leave so that's them here look at them they're looking at me uh, as if they're asking me to make a plan for them okay so is how it is so everywhere here we had a big beautiful palm but that's completely destroyed uh, so and you can see all over the property we've got cow dung and it's it's so hard for us to manage that because when it rains we have to let them out and they roam around looking for something to nibble on and it's unfair for us because it's unfair for us to keep them in just because we want to keep our yard beautiful while they need to be out and graze and, and all of that. So, isn't he beautiful? This is a beautiful Sussex. Uh, look at that one. That's a beautiful Brahma. Uh, that's a beautiful Brahma. Say hello, Brahma. Okay, so at the top here, we've got the um, chicken coop. Okay, this is the setup for the chicken, the chickens. This is where I plan to put my garden. This is where I plan to put my new garden. But obviously, as you can see, guys, the cows have been all over here and they, oh, they make everything such a mess. So we want to section the bottom so that they remain they do, they don't come up here okay um initially i tried that and they just break through they just break through they want to come in so now my plan is to have my garden here and i think this is big enough for us as a family it's big enough for us to grow whatever we want to grow here uh, and close it off my plan is to close it off See, we've already got a fence here, but uh, it didn't work out. They, they broke through one night and they ate everything. I'll show you uh, a picture of what it was looking like when we had planted a whole lot of plants here. But they've since destroyed that. But my plan is to build a new garden here and uh, hopefully you'll be coming along with me. 
as I construct a new garden here. So that's my plan at the moment and uh, I'll take you along when I do start.